right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are on the road, 605 freeway, and it's packed like usual. Another, yeah, it's a, it's a very stop and go uh, day, but Hayes and I, the beautiful Hayes and I, are back going somewhere special today. Uh, now, we were going a little early because we were just too excited. We wanted to see it. Dark Harbor is, yeah, and then we're gonna get food first, but we're gonna go to, we're going to Dark Harbor tonight, and I am so excited for this one. Haven't been, no one's been since 2019. Uh, it's been since 2019, Dark Harbor, and now it's back, 2024. So excited. Uh, so last night, uh, Friday the 20th, was their opening night. Now tonight, we're going to see, uh, check it out, see what it has to offer for this season, and, and, and answer the million dollar question, is Dark Harbor back? Uh, I am gonna go on a limb and just say I personally think it is, but uh, we'll know for sure after tonight. So, very much, very much looking forward to that. Uh, Dark Harbor now. Very much looking forward to that. And we got, if you can hear the motorcycle, we just like got a lot of craziness going on on the 605 freeway. So, you know, that's how these vlogs usually start a lot of times, right? But first, before we get to Dark Harbor, we're gonna be going to a place that I have never been to, and we're gonna be going to check out their new location, uh, Grill em All. It's a heavy metal inspired uh, burger joint, and they have, like I heard, really good burgers and uh, food, so we're gonna go check that out. And I can't wait to see what the theme and stuff is that, that is. And then we're heading over to Dark Harbor because I believe we have the early entry today. We have uh, a little seance. They have, they're doing like a little seance pre-show um, with that and, and, and we got the parking. We did. And we got our tickets, so we're ready to go. I'm ready to go. Hope you guys are ready to go. Let's go check out what Dark Harbor has to offer. just got to Queen Mary's Dark Harbor. Dark Harbor. We're here for early entry. We're here right now in this opening facade kind of courtyard. It's got like a little cemetery, a little mortuary, graveyard. And then we're about to go through this tunnel right behind me. It's flashing lights and stuff. Got a lot to do, got a lot to check out. It is 712. 712, and we got the early entry, so we're gonna go in, check it out, and see what it's all about. And we got our tokens. And we got tokens. Show those tokens again, because they're like this year they're like really cool. They look like actual poker chips, so that's oh, oh, that's pretty sick. So we got four of those, and uh, we're gonna go and check there's out. The other side. There's the other side, Dark Harbor. So those are cool. Speakeasy access for all the bar, uh, the maze bars. So and they look like poker chips this year instead of being wooden ones. Yeah, so they're actually like collectibles. I don't know. I kind of like the old school wooden ones a little bit. I'm more a fan of the poker. I love the poker chips. So we're going to head on in. We're going to see what's up and we'll see what's going on.
enjoyed this one very long maze very long. yeah like 12 minutes long i clocked i think on my Crazy. camera uh very long maze uh it takes you from like the prison all the way to like his escape his journey i guess i'm, I'm gonna go with of him just escaping him eventually getting caught up i don't know you but a giant snake yeah you dodged a giant snake that was good um that was nice. yeah but it was good uh it was pretty good good start to the event so far i'm digging the vibe i'm digging how the layout is so we're gonna go around and see what else they have uh i know the opening ceremony is just in a few moments so we're gonna probably go check that out yeah, 744 right now yeah 744 at the moment we're at the early entry uh I will say right now, I think my only critique is how they're doing the lines here. Yeah. Uh, the line situation is needs to be adjusted, but it is only the second day, so I imagine after opening weekend they'll have it figured out. So Hopefully. we're gonna go around, see what else there is, and see what else there is to do, and go see other mazes. So let's go check it out. Thank <laughs> you. 
right, we just got out of Big Top Tear. Big Top Tear! Pretty fun, uh, good time, little circus themed maze. No snake. No snakes, so that was a blessing. That was a lot of fun. Uh, probably the shorter out of the two so far that we've done between, uh, what was the first one? Breakout. Breakout. Breakout and Big Top Tear, so now, we're standing in front of Lullaby. Don't know if we're gonna go on that one yet, not, or what. what's the deal, but we're gonna move it along here. I think we got Lullaby, B340, and Feast still. So, let's go check it out. Yeah, Big Top Terror, a lot of fun. It's all the way to the left as you walk in from the entrance to the main entrance, so it's past all the carnival rides. Don't forget to go see Big Top Terror Circus. Have you seen my Mary?
Queen Mary's Dark Harbor, and uh, we had a lot of fun. We really did. Uh, so we went through Lullaby. Um, in my opinion, I think it was a very good like remaster slash reboot, whatever you want to call it. I really enjoyed it, especially the ending scene when you end up in the actual. I mean, they rebuilt the pool and it looks kind of spot on, at least like a set design version of it. So I thought that was really fun. It looks so much better than the last one that they did. Yeah, a lot of cool, a lot of cool scenes, a lot of, and I kind of understood the story all the way through. Yeah, I did too. That was a good one. Uh, and then after that, we uh, we watched both the slider shows tonight, uh, nine o'clock and eleven o'clock p.m. Uh, every night at Dark Harbor. And they killed it. It was a great time. So you can check that video out on our channel. The full uh, show will be out on our channel. Um, so find that. You, I know you enjoy the slider show. I really do. Yeah, it was a good, good team, good, good team effort. We even got a picture with them at the end. That was a lot of fun. Uh, then after that, we ended up going to Infirmary, which is another brand new one for the event uh, for 2024. Uh, and I really dug the aesthetic and the vibe of Infirmary. I think the only thing, as far as walkthroughs went, a little blur, there we go. As far as walkthroughs went, uh, the only thing that I kind of regret, or not regret, but like was iffy about it was the fact that we had some people that were just a little rowdy in our group coming through. But other than that, I mean, the maze itself was just a, a really great maze. I, I really love seeing Grace Gale. Yeah. It like kind of more shine. Nice little spotlight. She had a she had a couple spotlight moments. Yeah, she too. had a couple little 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 spotlights. Yeah, she did. That was so that was really cool to see that. And then the last one we did was Feast. Now, Feast we kinda had a very different walkthrough from everything we went through tonight. Uh, Feast was kind of uh, really conga lined a lot and a lot of stops and it's a very warm maze because you got to remember the the ship doesn't have like a central air system it's a very old ship and uh it's just basically on windows is what you have i think in some of like the newer rooms they kind of have like a little air filtration like an air system um like on the hotel and stuff but like below deck they don't it is what you got what you got um but like aesthetic wise i think feast looked really cool to see a lot of those old Props make a return for 2024. That was really cool to see all that. That's the feast that I remember. That's the feast that, like, in 2019 that I went through, and I remember seeing a lot of those things. Um, but I think it was just a line for this one. So hopefully, when we come back next week, we'll have a better walkthrough of feast uh, and a couple other mazes that we want to see again. But overall, what'd you think of feast? I think feast was really good. It was solid, but it needed a little bit of work. A little bit of work. It was good to see that return. It seemed uh, like people were um, on break or maybe were leaving early. Yeah. So. That'll be better next time, I'm sure. Overall, the uh, the event just looks incredible. It's a bigger floor plan, uh, a, a bigger floor plan this year. Way bigger. Extends all the way. They even have like too much, like so much so that the the, the big top uh, circus maze, um, big top tear. Locations. Yeah, and it's like it's a whole, it's like a legit, uh, it's a carnival. It really is. You walk through there, there's rides, there's games, there's characters interacting with you, and then the maze is right there. Lullaby is right before it. Um, the swings are right there in the center of the of the, uh, the event. Right across from that, they have the uh, you know the fire show going on. That was pretty cool. Um, they have a main stage now for like a party night kind of thing. That's where Lovecraft's performing. And they have a whole uh, voodoo section that's actually like bars and a hookah lounge. So that was really cool to see all that. Um, a lot of stuff returning, a lot of stuff brand new, a lot of stuff that just kind of made the event a vibe this year, I would say. That's the best way to describe it. But I, I think it's safe to say Dark Harbor is back. And uh, yeah, the was pretty cool. Yeah. It was really cool, and, and it's safe to say Dark Harbor is back. We can't wait to see what improves on next week. 
Uh, it was good to see what they what they opened with. Now we get to see the improvements next week. And uh, I'm excited to see the improvements. I hope uh, the park can get their yeah, hopefully get their stuff together. Parking, yeah, parking was a little bit of a nightmare to get out. But hey, we're on our way home now. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, leave a like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys on our next spooky adventure.